You know, this really looks like an unstoppable combination. This cute little tractor on rails and then this concrete block. It's got a bunch of big motors on it. But I come to find out that's not the case. I found this handy dandy guide on Reddit from about a month ago, posted by you, uh, Tyrolez V8 in slash or slash Tyrovelli, uh, which was reposted from Steam, I believe, but uh, talking about the useful tonnage that things can pull in the DE2 in Post Simulator Land uh, is 250, 250 tons, and with the slug, it's 400 tons. So, uh, four times the motors, but there's not a whole lot of huevos in that little engine compartment. Which is fair, uh, but means that I had hopes and dreams of running those two jobs. That's why we switched out that other job last time, as you recall. I had hopes and dreams of taking both these jobs. Which are about 900 tons, just shy of 900 tons. And it would make a lot of dollary dues. Which would be lovely, but um, yeah, we'd need basically, basically uh, four DE2s to do that. Or three DE2s and a slug. Which we just so happen to have in the harbor on this day. So let's uh, let's put that together, shall we? Oh, we should probably grab the jobs. Grab the jobs so we have the numbers. Knuckle and doom. Obviously, one of them is the one that we just shunted last time. Curse me for using the British word. I dare you. The 25 and then the 80. And, you know, we could probably get away with just shunting with these. And then adding the engines on last thing. So, uh, we will just set our sights on our consist here. Go pick them up. Hopefully the other kind of cars is in the yard. Make it easy to switch these things out. But you never know. Line ourselves back over to that cut of cars. That's plenty of speed when we're aimed at hazmat. It's fine. And yeah, I guess we'll see if uh, if three DE twos and a slug, which should be basically 900 tons, can pull uh, 890 tons. So, and that's up the hill. So that'll get interesting. I probably won't MU the uh, the slug and the DE2 to the other DE2s. I will probably just run them separately so that I can just leave them in run eight. Oh, that's a little fast. Bang. Only a little. Hooking up the air first, because reasons. Kabang. Air's already cut in there. Air is cut in there. Beautiful. Kick the brake off. This is the 80. Okay, we've got that, and that's gonna be at our head end, so we will swap it with the other one. So we can keep it straight. And where's the 25? Should look like another clapped out consist of Soviet uh, awful looking tank cars. Which I'm not seeing over here. May not be in this yard. That's not long enough. Yeah, I guess it's not. It must be one of those ones in that was in D yard. If I had to guess. It's the F yard for passenger trains. Here's G. Got some containers and some rails. Yeah, it's got to be in the D yard, most likely. Because it wouldn't be in the B yard, because it's military. And the C yard is only basically two tracks plus a load and load track. So it wouldn't be in the C yard either. Yeah, it's going to be one of these cuts. Uh, left or right? What do we want to bet? Yellow and white ones. Those are red. So it must be this cut. Must be the one we almost lined ourselves into last episode. <laughs> Presumably. Looks like a fairly large cut of cars. What do we have? The FH25. There it is. That one. That's the one. Alright, I'm going to place my kerosene lantern next to this. 
easily come couple into it and do the thing because we have so many lanterns we don't know what to do with them this time. All right, got switches lined over to that boy. Uh, now we're gonna yank on this first cut, go grab the second cut, and uh, we'll see how it handles. I guess we're gonna really load test this uh, slug now. So we messed around with it a bit last time. 400, 440, let's see, 450 tons. So we loaded the bigger train. And you can get it to pull more than 500 amps when you really rip on it. But it doesn't wheel slip, which is awesome. And it really cools down pretty quick. So I guess we shall see. We'll go pick up those cars, pull up, stop, grab our two other engines that we want to grab. One's uh, on the siding right there, off in the distance, one's in the roundhouse. And then, uh, and then we'll be off to City Southwest to see the wizard of the city. I mean, Oz. Because, 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 because. <laughs> is this the that must be the switch into the passenger yard harbor is always so confusing with so many switches yeah that was the passenger lead switch this is the one we want to get right here so we'll just wait for the train to get vaguely close on this end dump the air from back here pow Put our other we have three lanterns, so we'll put one right there. Here a little shove marker. We can put it on the inside so that we know what's going on. You can see it. You know, we'll put one on the each either side. Little markers. Look at how demonic that looks. This, this is this video game. This is a horror game. Alt Future have made a horror game. You will not change my mind. Choo Choo Charles or uh, Dear Old Valley. What's more scary? Here's your Halloween update idea, guys. Uh, just uh, implement something spooky, vaguely spooky, and tell no one and just make it happen. That would be, uh, that'd be a meme. And by spooky, I don't mean these windshield wipers that scream. All right, I don't, I don't know if there's any benefit to us having put those marker lamps on. No, I guess now that we're really in the turn, you can see it. We've got a tank car with headlights. Look at that. Look at that. It's so neat. Teleport to the not head end, the back end. Yeah, they're both still there. Really didn't look like much from all the way back there, but you know. And now we ride the shove. Hey, Ringo. You shove him. No, I'm not gonna sit there. I'll sit there. Don't put the lamps on the. Uh, on the end of it all, you know? All right. Lined in, not going too fast. Just kind of nice and easy. Snaky, snaky train. I don't know why there's so many squiggles in this yard. For the, for the spiciness, presumably.
we're almost there. Good thing we have roller bearings. Rolls nice and easy. Okay, okay. Not scared, not scared, not scared. Now dump it! Oh, breaks. Oh, breaks. Chef's kiss. Not even a bang. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty, my friends. <laughs> the, the interaction with the screw chain is not a thing of beauty, but that, uh, you know, details. All right, so we've got this whole thing, this whole mess. Uh, break. Uh, break. You with the 25? Break? Which break do I need to kick off? Did I teleport too many cars over? Oh, don't tell me 80s there. Don't, why would you tie a break on the other end of this whole mess? Why would you do that? Screams. We don't like that. It's not very fun. Yeah, there's the break. All right. So we got our 890 tons of splody boys all put together here. And we need to go get our friends and make this thing happen here. Turn the wipers on. It's like things have recharged and they're happy here. We need to go the other backwards. The DE2 does that sometimes. If you rapidly flick it between zero and one, it just dies. Seems like something some stupid clapped out Soviet diesel would do, so you know. All right, we're gonna let that go. And we're gonna go get the rest of our power figured out. It'll be fine on its own. It's 890 tons of hazmat. It knows how to not blow up. There's a statistically higher chance of the hazmat blowing up if I am involved directly. The train's running away on its own, probably won't blow up. 60% of the time, it works every time. So we can go and uh, we can go grab this boy. Another an SDNS little dude. Hello, friend. Okay, pow, 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 pow. Kadunk, oh, oh we're gonna be all SDNS, I think. Because there is one more in the roundhouse that we haven't used yet. But there's also the one we were using last time. Which we broke, but now we've since fixed. It has been made anew. It is the prodigal DE2. De God. Yes, it's wet outside. Shut up. <laughs> Anyone see headlights yet? Oh crap, there they are. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a time. This is gonna be a time. This is gonna be a time. Oh weird, this is just, this is just danger. Brakes, switches, switches. Go the other way, use the sand. We're being attacked by a D6 slug. Okay. More, more better. Oh yeah, we've outrun it. That was uh, a brief moment of terror right there. And uh, what's what's one brief moment of terror, if not followed by another? I'm sure that they will bang into each other uh, with consent. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure that nothing will go wrong by me leaving those locomotives to their own devices. Uh, yep, okay, mm-hmm. We could use the steam engine, but no, we're not. We're, we're just DE2-ing the hell out of this. I'm gonna have to science the, the poop out of this, quoting uh, Matt Damon. All right, come on, let's go. Break off. Gotta go out and get out in front of these idiots. Oh, good Christ. Oh, they still haven't even made a hook yet. <laughs> as you watch, as you watch the, the monster stalk its prey. That's, uh, that's very good. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, I could not have timed this better had I tried. But here we are on the SDNS. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go knuckle those in. God, I saw the smoke and I thought something was burning down and then I forgot that we we're just trying to blow up a poor DE2. Oh, we left the sand on in this one. That's a bummer. We're gonna need that. Okay, still got a little bit of time before we run into the other one. Oh, I can't see anything down there. Sure. Nope. Oh, God. Yeah, there you go. Why is that gone so far away already? Come on. <laughs> this is just this is the dumbest. It is my run speed right now to try and keep up with the strain. I want to I want to tighten the 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 ball and chain. There we go. And the air. The air is one of those next. Why is the error? Okay. Find your friend. There you go. Pow. Uh, um, um. There's another angle cock there, I'm sure of it. I left no throttle in that engine, right? Like, what is it doing? Okay, oh, this is pain. This is pain. Got it! Okay, we need to pick up, pick this boy up, and it's gonna be a spicy dunk shortly here if I don't throttle him up, but I want my lantern. Oh god, it stopped! No, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. We've got a million thousand tons of slug coming at you. Oh, it's a horror film, it's a horror film, it's a horror film, it's a horror film! <laughs> How's everyone doing? Good lord. All right. It's fine. It's still fine. Pow. There you go. Okay. We need to go up the hill. Use the sand. Use the boost to get through. Okay. Now we run across the big, this thing. We're going to turn some of these lights off. They're a little redonkulous. And just put this in run eight. I assume it can take it. Okay. I mean, it's it's probably gonna be fine. It's probably gonna be fine. Why oh my traction motors are hot. Oh boy. Yeah, we needed to have this knuckled into this already. But we're ca oh god, something just went kabang. It's the ground relays for. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Air. All right, that's all put together. This is now slipping. That's impressive. Use the sand. Use the sand. Use the boost to get through. Okay, starting on the hill. Just recipe for success. Why is this not pulling any amps? Oh god, what blew up? Something blew up. We've broken a traction motor on that. Did this shut down? It did. All right. Well, we're gonna we're just gonna go down the hill real quick and try that again. Now that our uh, on the fly strategy for adding helpers is not buffed. Are all of our engines facing the wrong direction? Oh no, we definitely had that reverser thrown wrong. That's a little embarrassing. It's hard to keep track between all these cabs, you know. Uh, oh, and that popped. That's popped a traction. Okay, so we're 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 essentially <laughs> essentially at two de twos and a slug. 
because we've popped that many traction motors. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Get those lights on, those lights on. It's, uh, it's fine. It'll be fine. Do we want to stop and pick up that other helper now? How much does one blown traction motor remove tonnage wise? I mean, we were right. We were right there on the edge before. I think, I think I'm going to add that other DE2. I, like, I think I'm just going to let that happen. It's night shift. Management doesn't need to know anything. The uh, the locomotive utilization team has not woken up yet for the day. So we're, we're just going to do what we got to do. We're going to railroad. We're going to railroad it. Make it happen. Brakes. All the brakes. Except for those. To hell with your wheels. Burn them down. The motor's already broken, like, who cares? Alright, I want to try a trick. A trick that I was taught by one of the viewers. Apparently... Oh my god, yes. Page up and page down works when you're on the turntable. Okay, this is an ES and DT engine, but d don't tell Dad. No one tell Dad. It's fine. Come on. Wake up. Come on, figure your crap out. Oh, 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 we're not running up yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was so worried about the headlights not working that, uh, yeah. And so used to just running straight across the turntable, but for the low, 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 low price of seventeen thirty-five, that locomotive can now be over here. Pow! Look at that. And like nothing ever happened. Now the headlights are on. <laughs> Screams. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, every time. Shush! 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 chill the wetness does not help right now it really doesn't was not planning on it being in the night and in the wet as well all right we're gonna be sane humans we're just gonna back onto this train it's not gonna be a problem other than the wheels being flat Pound. There we go. Spice them. Roast them. God, that is a very fast way to make the traction motors very angry. Okay, so the uh, the four and a half, four engine, five locomotive? Question mark consist. Uh, it's about ready to go. Just uh, bang into those with this real quick. And I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure there will be no problems. And we will make it to City Southwest. No problems. On time. We haven't even turned in the jobs yet. Heist, you're forgetting a step. There's this whole job mechanic in the game. Bang. Uh, see, I knew that we were going to need a test up the hill. So uh, that was planned, orchestrated. Yep. Mm hmm. You betcha. So that's the whole thing. So I, I guess we'll go over to the station and accept the jobs as our responsibility. I guess that's probably a good thing to do. I don't think we made it far enough away from the harbor for it to cancel them. If it cancels, then keys are going in the dirt. 
Don't do this to me, Nero Halley, please. Do not punish this mortal for his hubris. Okay. Uh, pow. Oh, good. Okay, cool. There we go. There's Jobs. Got him. Got him. Got it. Okay, from the D60. Bring it on the C2I. Cool. E2O C3I, so we'll have to break the consist apart, which is annoying. But it is a rather long train. It's a lot of splody boys. How, how long? How much long is it? 140. So yeah, it's about 300 meters of train, basically, without the 15,000 locomotives on the front. Okay. Air off, thing there. Lights, lights er. Do that, lights front, there we go. Put that like just casually in notch one. And everything's immediately mad. Okay, uh, are there other brakes that are set? No, no, okay. This is set to reverse. Sand, beams. Beans meet sand, sand meet beans. The train is now moving, so sand. We cannot do that with uh, this. The slug is so nice and that you can just make it absolutely rip. Why are you hot already? Oh, you are, yeah. Oh. But you're the sl oh you're not the sluggy boy. You're the sluggy boy. Okay, that's fine. So this is the uh, this is the hot, sad, pissed off one. Got it. So we'll run from this one because I don't think we're in danger of getting up to too much speed with this whole shenanigan we've put together here. We'll just roast them real quick, briefly. Play chicken with the traction motor, as you do. Trade off of speed and power. And the amps are still coming down. Speed is still going up. We're gonna keep burning the jets for the moment. Can I grab, I'm just gonna grab a notch even, like. Burn it down. Let them eat traction motors. So we got We gotta make this hill here, and the speed is decreasing, and that is only going to amplify problems. Don't shoot till you see the whites of the pressure gauge. I mean temp gauge. I mean the reds. It's fine. it off a notch cooled right off then the amps are coming up again can I run those other ones harder maybe okay, back it off another notch like are these guys just not even yeah they're not even they're not even hot so like where's that undo that and if we blow up that other engine, we blow up that other engine, but these ones can pull way harder than they are right now. So we're gonna we're gonna make them. Because we need them to. God, so I've got three different throttles to manage right now. Okay, that's barely there. No, get me to fine. He'll be fine. Quit whining. What's this one doing? This one doesn't care. It's in run 8. It doesn't care because the slug is the greatest invention. This one hasn't killed itself yet. Alright, there's that. Oh, this is... Oh, God. Oh, God. We almost binned that. Ooh yeah, 
Okay, these two, are, these two are basically running the same. Oh god, something blue. It's probably the lead engine. But it flattens out through here. Oh, it wasn't the lead engine. Oh god, it's the third engine. Which is probably now dead weight. Is it? That's not saying anything. All the traction motors will cool off at least. God, we can't, you can't, I mean, even run one is too much at this speed. Right, so we'll let that idle for now, double check these guys. Yeah, they're doing okay. God, if we have to go get that steam engine. The steam engine probably could have taken all this crap all by itself. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, we wanted to play with the slug. Was it the smart choice? Not really. Just spice them. Do what you can. Give us some speed, please. It's a moot point, but we will check on our friend back here. Oh, he's slightly warm. Boo hiss. This one is fine. This one is ready to work harder. Cool. We like that. Get us some speed back, please. Before we entirely murder our sand pile. My trash and motors are hot. Yeah, what else is new? Your DE2. <laughs> what is my purpose? To have your traction motors cook roasted garlic and broccoli. That's, um, that's it. That's your purpose. Dial it back one notch. That seems pretty happy. This guy can even come up a notch. Or two. Two is probably too many, but yeah, two is definitely too many. And how's our beautiful friend in back here? Doesn't care. He's in run eight. Doesn't care. Wish I had more uh, more locomotives like that and less complainer whiners up here like these guys, you know? Yeah, it's uh, not blown itself up yet. It's working on it. Uh, and these are the same. And the amps are going up. And the speed is going down. And the hill increases. Great. This is uh, a good recipe. I'm gonna dial that one notch back. I'm going to dial that one notch back. A huge change in amps, but it's also only got one traction motor left. And uh, our non-complainer is still non-complaining back here. Shoving with his heart, his whole heart. Five locomotives, and we are doing 15 kilometers an hour. 15. Five locomotives. It's fine. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, is all. Okay, it hasn't died yet. Yeah, everyone's just kind of holding at the 500 amps right now. But the speed is actually climbing. Until the sand runs out. The sand is getting low. Although we don't need it right now. That's actually quite good. Yeah, we will, uh, we will not use sand. And I'm trying to think. I don't actually know whether or not the slugs had sand or not. I don't think they do. 
It could. Sands operated by air on the locomotives, and the slugs had air connections to them. That's one thing Dira Values really simplified over real locomotives. Oh, look, a lantern. Um, but I need the lantern. Is that you just have the brake hose, and then you have the MU cable, which we didn't hook up there. We have it hooked up here. And the, the MU cable handles all the electronics, but the, um, the air is actually handled via four hoses total. Brake pipe, main reservoir, independent actuating and release, which is all one pipe, one hose. Um, and then the independent brake or main reservoir. I don't remember which I said first. You get the idea. All those together make the, uh, the diesel locomotive able to send all of its controls back, which is why I was surprised that the DE2 did not, or DE6 slug, did not do anything related to independent brake. Like, it should set up its independent like a normal locomotive. But uh, that's not how they set it up. That's fine. The air is relatively simplified. People bring it up all the time that uh, that I have the brake valve set in the wrong position a lot of times. When I got m multiple engines, and you're supposed to leave them in lap if you want them to work. And come to think of it, if I'm not MUing these, um, yeah, for the, <laughs> the non-self-lapping guys. Because technically the closest one of the, the cut of cars is going to always try and recharge back to the main pressure the uh, feed valve set to, right? So even if I take a set on the air at these front engines, the engines further back won't respond to that because they'll be just trying to override it with their own recharge of the brake pipe. Which makes sense. Um, I don't honest to God know what would happen if you did that without cutting out brake stands on older stuff like non-self-lapping air. Um, so we have cutouts for the brake stand so we can turn the brake stand off so it has no function. Come on, wake up, you. Speed, I want speed. A little more, a little more, come on. Here we go. It's all foggy in the cab, that was strange. All right, he's MU'd. This guy, oh boy. I guess we'll check on him back here. He probably doesn't care. Yeah, he's still in run eight, and he still doesn't care. He loved to see it. And we've basically made it up the grade at this point, so yeah, glad we brought that extra helper, because it was a little touch and go there. Uh, it was a little dicey. We needed four DE2s worth of traction motors. Whether we needed four DE2s uh, is up for debate still, but... He's not trying to burn down. He's not trying to burn down. Pulling pretty hard. You love to see it. Somebody's hot somewhere. Spoilers, it's all of them. They're all hot. Still a train full of explodey boys back there, too. Get a little more speed, finally can get another notch, maybe. It is very wet, which is very annoying. It's not really a place where we're gonna need sand on the way to City, city Southwest. We are basically in this part of the world right now. City Southwest is pretty flat. It's actually uh, downhill all the way there. And it's very flat all the way over, which is why I really like this run. It's a once you get past that grade, I mean, it's just kind of a cakewalk. Although the rain is being annoying, of course. Grab all kinds of notches on these engines. All right, I'm going to MU 
I think I'm going to MU everything, actually. If I can. How are we getting derail sounds? The speed limit here is faster than the DE2s can go. Uh, I don't know if I can actually grab the MU hoses, though. They're there somewhere. Oh, God. Now they're over there. Oh, please let me on the train. Please, 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 Dero Valley teleporting. My goodness. Just a travesty. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. One does not need to be on the train to operate the train. The thing of really, like, the slug... Oh, boy. Though it's designed for switching, is quite good over the road. Like, you can really just rip that DE2 and just make it do the thing. And apparently, there is an MU cable somewhere down there. Guess not. It's fine. It's, some, it's somewhere slurped inside that uh, thing. You can see that's where the socket is, and so it's... Oh, there, there's the plug. There we go. Anyway. Try and keep that going. We're still not to a point where we need to slow down, really. But anyway, uh, yeah, the, the, like the DE6 slug, I mean, it really... Really doesn't care. I mean, it makes it say that you can really, like... Drama-free operate the DE2. Which is really cool. Because the DE2 is honestly kind of worthless, other than very early game. So it's great to see an option that allows for something else. Come on! I had it clicked. Welcome to frustrating, can't see what I'm doing, click on thing simulator 2023. I swear to God, if I've been it, because I'm trying to MU these engines. Please, 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 couple. Got it. God, right as we're coming up on the spot. So everything's now MU'd together, uh, so that we don't have to worry about stupidity. To turn the lights on all the way. We got a 60 coming up, so I'm gonna set up some air. I just turned all the lights on to make sure that the light's coming from the right place, and it looks like it's coming from that last locomotive, so we've actually uh, emitted them properly. Setting the air was great. Just kind of let it ride now. It's a five ish question mark locomotive train fine. Still raining. Uh, the sun is rising, so we are ready to attack Ministerith. You know, ere the sun rises and all that. But, uh, yeah, we're still not city southwest. <laughs> a bit of a bit of a silly challenge we have a little air not too much okay, it's having a little bit of an effect got a 60 coming through here it's still going downhill it's got to be a 50 at the junction when we go left and we got to go left at this upcoming junction so I want to pinch it down to 50 just nice and easy steel mill and there's the junction on your left there's the 50 doing 54 like we've just got a cute little set on right now yeah it's uh, basically a half the bar it's nicely holding us back on that grid half a bar being like seven pounds basically seven psi which is uh, I mean that's like your starter set is about five psi 
the old K valves that a lot of the uh, early rolling stock had. Really didn't do anything until you got a five pound reduction on the brake pipe, basically. So you, you always kind of start with five and you add from there as needed. And that is a lot of floaty boys that we can now finally see in the daytime. Blech. Jump in the river for the sake of a thumbnail. Oh, you can run on water right up until you can't. And the thumbnail. Nah, don't think I got the shot. Didn't get it. Get back on the train, though. I'll tell you what, the uh, no camera mode and no uh, teleport distance <laughs> makes this a challenge to make thumbnails happen on YouTube, which is uh, unfortunate because they're the most important thing for a video, basically, is the, the title and the thumbnail. You think it's the content. You're here for the content. You're here for. The shenanigans, the beams, the explosions, but uh, all YouTube really cares about is uh, your title and thumbnail, so. Guess we'll get to City Southwest and take a thumbnail then. I barely got these things working and we're doing 60. And it's, uh, it's gonna be nice and clean through the oil well. And then we've just gotta get through the uh, last couple junctions and shenanigans to get to City Southwest. As it's the farm we just blitzed through. Um, this farm's right here. Oil Well Central. There's a spicy curve or two right through there in those junctions. It exists just so the sawmill can exist, but. Yeah. Let's get past those. Clean sail, I'm like almost there. Okay, there's the wheel slope alarm. It is still wet, the game said. And for a second, I thought there were no boys at the oil well, and it's gonna be very sad. But uh, they all spawned in at the last second. It's kind of funny. Like, the boys are a very important part of Deer Old Valley. If they didn't spawn, there were no boys. Oh, well, like, what, what's the point, you know? Looks like we can grab that next notch. We are basically doing about top speed, though. 69 kilometer an hour, nice. Going into the 70 kilometer an hour zone. Somebody's mad somewhere in the train, so I'm gonna back that off. If I had to bet it's this guy. Yeah, wimp, complainer. Oh, that's interesting. The engine RPM's different. Like, these are pulling 100 or so, but this one is just screaming. Or it's the sound of the traction motor just making the screaming sounds. Oh, God. Okay, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down. Oh, there's the three. There's the three. Dump the air, dump the air. I got intrigued, and that was a mistake. Yes, 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 yes. To hell with the wheels. All right, there we go. More gooder, it's fine. Somebody back there is still slipping. There we are. There would be the aforementioned spicy curve right there. Zunk. Slam through that somehow. Still one more junction to go. I think that was the Y. So there's this. Uh, well, I guess that's a Y as well, isn't it? But I think it's also pretty slow. All right. So the front cut's got to go to C3. The back cut's got to go to C2. Um, ideally, we'll just Dutch drop it. Dutch drop it and call it a day. Go. 
speed. Here's the other junction. Three to the left, six to the right. So yeah, we can put a little little speed on, but we don't want too much because City Southwest is like right there. You can actually see a building City Southwest right on our 12 o'clock. So just kind of let it roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Five engines. God knows how many cars. What is that? Eight, ten. Uh, yeah, 20, 20 cars. And the weights were slightly different. Uh, whatever. 20 cars, almost 900 tons, all hazmat. Five locomotives. So, you know, one locomotive for each four cars. Screams. That's, uh, that's efficiency right there. Peak efficiency here on the ESNDT slash SDNS. Oh boy, how do we want these switches lined? That one to the right, that next one to the left. Sea yards over there, past the turntable. We're gonna get in there, so we're gonna pinch it down a little bit more. We're gonna line ourselves into the C2, and then we wanna Dutch drop the cars. So actually we wanna probably slow down pretty hard right now. Not that hard. Relax. Okay, that's going well. Let's see. Coming around the bend. Oh, we are not lined. We don't want to be lined that way. I want to go. Uh, what did I say? C3? C2? C3. C3 in Oh, that's the, the straight track. So we just line it for the straight. And then we got to reline the switch to the right for the C2. So we're lined for the C3, that's great. Gotta find the brake in the cars, make the cut. Run ahead of them as fast as we can, and then dump the air, basically. And grab the switch. It's the last car in this. Doesn't really help, does it? It's still the 80. It's still the 80. Still the 80. There's the 25. All right, so 25, 80. Yep, that is the split between the jobs. So we will just bottle the air. Afida sen, goodbye. Dosvidanya, dovijanya, all the things. And we rip the stick on the choo choo as hard as we can. Get in the clear, get some distance. Give it sand. Catch your slip, you idiots. Come on. Okay, we're getting a little distance there. Yeah, wine, 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 complain. What else do you guys do? Oh. Blew up another DE2. It's fine. It's a DE2, they're a dime a dozen. Okay, we let that roll. We stand at the switch here. Gonna line the other cut of cars into the other track as soon as we get past and dump the air on this and then hope that we don't run off the other end over there. So we have a lot of engines on the front, but it's fine. And hope that those cars just keep rolling. You should. Should be fine. Okay, line the switch. Uh, there's still one more switch for these guys to get past. Doesn't look like we've gone in the dirt yet over there. That's great. We got one car to the stop, so we'll dump the air. Slam a handbrake on. Watch the wheels flatten. Oh, they just yell. They actually don't stop sliding. That's funny. They don't slide. Oh, those are so totally going to stop. That's ridiculously annoying. What was the time bonus on these? 96 minutes. Not terribly worried about the time bonus. All right, so we'll run our power around, I guess, and go fish out those cars. This is a short, very short thing. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make clearance. 
run into this problem before and we had to punt an engine off the end. Somehow I feel a matinee of that performance coming your way shortly. I can smell it. I can smell. It smells like Kenosha, I'm sure. I'm sure it really does. It probably sounds like Kenosha too. If I was a betting man. Still got a little bit more to go to clear. Oh, we got plenty of space. What are we fretting over? It's fine. I'll just let that go. Those cars have definitely stopped back there. Okay. Switch is lined. Well, it was lined. Switch is now lined again. Okay, now we go pick up those cars. Put it straight to eight, it's fine. All the trains are angry. These cars have definitely stopped rolling. I don't know why they've stopped rolling, but they have. So we're gonna go get them. You're gonna knuckle into him, bring him up this way. It's still raining. It's no longer in the night, but it feels like the night. Reminds me of Seattle, just eternally gray and kind of hazy. Yeah, God, this really didn't roll. It's uh, obnoxious. Brakes, please. Brakes, please. Brakes, please. Brakes, please. Brakes, please. There we are. Okay, good. Dunk. Yeah. Nothing wrong there. Okay, we'll just drag him back in. So good. Let's get all these cars on the track. We'll dump the air, tie a brake, walk away, and uh, then it'll be day shifts problem. And hopefully we'll have made several hundred grand. And by several hundred, I mean like 200. I think the jobs are worth 150, and we've probably caused some damage to the locomotives.png. So. Okay, that's looking good there. Tie all the air, put the sand on. Tell him to stop whining. Kabang. Let's tie the brake. Okay. <laughs> Jump over all the things. F's in chat for my keyboard's F, which is probably gonna break again. It's fine. We're almost there, lads. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm helping. My F key probably screaming. Screaming in agony. Alright, let's see. Two jobs. 20 cars, hazmat. Good stuff. Uh, kapow. Base payment of 75, 76 grand. Plus the bonus, 38 grand. No environment damage. You'll have to see it. Pow. $113,000. Yeah. Same thing here. No damage. Awesome. 
But look at look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. Two hundred thirty-four thousand dollars. Oh, the fees on the engines are like not that bad. Our our copay is slowly going down as the uh, locomotives sit there and idle. We only have to pay seventy-eight grand to get it all done, which means that if we pay it all, I'm sure it'll say. Don't you want to service this locomotive? And I said, yeah, no. No, I don't. I just want to pay the money. Sometimes you don't want to have to deal with stuff. I'm sure the electrical powertrain can do stuff. And yeah, we would save some money there. Cool. No fees. New licenses. So. We still have 100 grand to play with. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's a match made in heaven, ladies and gents. Next time, we blow crap out. Oh, God, the copay went up $300,000. Ah, dies. That'll be fun. We're going we're gonna to run some military trains, I guess. It's fine. Military 2 is so easy. We need has 3. It has 3 spicy. We do need to get the DE6. We got some tools. We have steam engines that have many wheel arrangements that we can play with now. Uh, so I think we're, we're fully confident in our ability to blow up the valley at this point. I think we're going to do just fine. There's a very red diesel hydraulic in there. It's fun. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Always such a good time. Always so much fun to play DRL Valley. Such a treasure of a video game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, shenanigans. And uh, yeah, our choo-choos needed a little help this time. From more choo-choos and more choo-choos and more choo-choos. And the slug is great, uh, but with the DE2, it's, uh, it's a little bit less great than I was hoping for. I was hoping for it to be ridiculous, but the, the tonnage rating is just not there because there's no space for a big alternator in there. It's very small. You can only put out so much current, so that's that. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. We will catch you all next time.